Azuquita para mí. Azuquita para mí. Azuquita para mi café. Azuquita. Hey, Mark. Hello. Welcome. Welcome to the barbecue. Oh, I'm happy to be here. I have a very serious question for you. Okay. What do you think about these glasses? Oh, they are actually, they're almost... You like them? Yeah, they're, I like, okay, I like okay, them. Good. They're blue going on a lovely violet-ish. Okay. But <laughs> actually, I have a better question. So, you've been DJing for a long time. Why do you still do it? Um, that's the easy question, because yeah. there's so much good music, and there's uh, so little time to play it all. All right. So, whenever there's a chance to be playing new stuff, I don't know. It's a, what better job could there be other than... That's true. Well, you, you play a lot. I read a statistic people. once that said you played 300 days out of a year. Is that accurate? Sometimes, yeah. It could be. Um, three days a week. Yeah. So I don't, I don't know if that's... Well, I just wonder because I'm a DJ. I couldn't imagine playing 300 times out of 365. <laughs> so I just wonder, like, for someone who plays that much, like, what is it that brings you back every time? Is it the people? Is it the music? Is it just, like, a combination of it all? Yeah, yeah, a combination. You know, it's yeah. all, all the same. I'm lucky to know for so long different people in each place that throw good parties. So once yeah. you get involved with good people and then good people, good music and good sound, you can't really get sick of that. They all are pretty th easy to find at that point as well. Yeah, well, well not, I don't want to take it for granted though. And so each yeah, like, time good. that that combo is together, it's wonderful. Yeah. So yeah, and as long as that keeps going, it keeps me happy. Yeah, well, we're happy to have you here in Portland and thanks for coming to the barbecue. My pleasure. And I'm really glad you like my glasses. They're wonderful. <laughs> so I'm Tracy uh, Blakey from San Francisco. I moved here to Portland in 2008 and uh, I'm now part of RCU. And my question for Mark is, when I say wicked, what comes to mind? Um, well, obviously San Francisco, and then of course Yano, Garth, Markey, uh, and so, and just kind of old school San Francisco comes to mind. Um, the good old days, you could call them. conference uh, we're at analog here tonight and with us we have the legendary mark farina 
How you doing today, Mark? Excellent. Excellent. All right. So you went to the barbecue earlier. Tell us about your experience about that. Um, good times. Got to hear some good music. Uh, see people I haven't seen in a while, and talk to people uh, not inside of a nightclub where it was, you know dark and blaring and late. So. A little bit more of a personal level. Yep, and it was such a nice day today, so exactly. can't beat that. Excellent. Uh, you recently went to, a, uh, you went to played at Ibiza, I know, and you played at Tomorrowland. It's a little bit of a different vibe compared to, you know, Portland. Uh, to compare contrast of how you like them. Um, and well, let's see, I mean, Ibiza is always rather festive. It can be kind of crazy. Uh, it's, you know, a, a wild place, uh, but I had a really good time. I was there for five days, which is the longest ever. Uh, hung out with various people on the island, did like three different shows, a uh, zoo project, and then one gig for uh, George from Nightmares on Wax for his uh, Wax to Jam thing, down tempo, and then a sunset gig at Cafe Del Mar. And then Tomorrowland was uh, before Ibiza, and that was back-to-back uh, -back with Seth Troxler, which Excellent. was uh, really cool. Never met him before, so that was the first time, and yeah, it's nice to, you know, do back-to-backs. I uh, enjoy that. It's fun. It's different than just playing by yourself. And then, you know, that compares to Portland, uh, it's just, uh, it's far away. But, uh, you know, here there's, uh, you know, good music people like everywhere else. I know that you have been to Portland a few different times, many occasions. Um, you keep coming back, and you're obviously very famous among people here. Uh, tell us what you like about Portland. Um, I mean, yeah, I've been coming to Portland, luckily, since, what, like, 93, 94, I don't know. Uh, so, I think the first, one of the first places I played was Reed College, uh, a long, long time ago, uh, for a Tom, it was, uh, and, you know, like, uh, kind of the crazy acidy days, uh, <laughs> and, um, so, yeah, and just Portland always has great people, and, you know, I've been coming back usually at least once a year, sometimes twice ever since, yep. so, you know, I do my annual visit, and, yeah, just great, great people, and people enjoy and appreciate good music.